Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. I'm Ultima Mantoid, and we are approaching the end of the Sea of Eden. Or not the Sea of Eden, but the end of this area of Magic Ant. <sighs> Another carefree bomb! Oh, thank God! I love you, Ness! So anyways, that's the scrap pile for them. Might as well. Three of them. Probably another carefree bomb. Oh well, this will be easy. Chance for surprise opening attack? I should get this. No problem. To the Sea of Eden! Now, word of warning. Make sure you're very well stocked before you go into this area. I'm gonna go ahead and use PSI Caramel. The reason that you want to make sure you're stocked here is this guy right here. Yep, the Kraken. And you're by yourself. This is the same one that attacks you on the way to uh, Scaraba. So far, so good, though. And there's three of these guys. Fortunately, they don't respawn. And, of course, Ness is going to gain quite a few levels here. That's why this dungeon is so short. Well, if you can consider it a dungeon. And I'm going to fight all three Krakens. You remember when we drank tea at the Tenda Village? Remember how, how it said how strong we've become? Ness can single-handedly take out a Kraken. Go, go, Earth Pendant! And that's two down. I'm getting some lucky smashes here. And there's the third one. Come here. Hey, what's that up there? Is that the... Nah. That couldn't be. <laughs> well! Jeez! There we go. Breathe f Okay. So that was some damage reduction. It's just not as much. Not bad. And the Kraken was defeated. See how easy it's gotten now? Power of PSI Gaming Omega. Which I will be casting. I just won't be casting it here. And here's why. Mm. Here's why. Okay. That's 10, 14, 40, and then 98 psychic points. Yeah. You're looking at serious shit. But before we get started, I have 593 HP. Let's go ahead and life up to max health. <sighs> this is the boss. I'm the evil part of your brain. You can't beat me. Because you are the one who forced me into being. 
Nessa's Nightmare. AKA Monty Monty Statue Version 2.0. He has 999 psychic points this time around. That sounds like an overwhelming number, except for the fact that. Okay, it was protected by the power shield. So right now, we're going to be eating our own damage for the moment. And he does nothing but cast PSI Gaming back at you. Up to and including PSI Gaming Omega. That's why his 999 psychic points seems overwhelming and it's really not. Basically, anytime he casts Omega, cast um, Healing or uh, Life Up Beta. This fight's really not that hard. It seems like it. If you don't have the Night Pendant or the Earth Pendant equipped, he will kill you with Flash Omega. There's the Alpha. Oh, and I guess he does have some form of life up. That's gonna take a while. Because I can't really go around that shield. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Six hundred and seventy two. But it wasn't even mortal damage. That was though. That was too close. See what I mean? You just gotta keep your health just above maybe two hundred to give you enough time to will you stop that? Okay, we're gonna do this. Where's my bag of dragonite? Oh, this is going to hurt. I want to know why it doesn't play the sound effect. Oh, please don't let me lose this. Yes! Go, Ness! Whew, that was too close. Uh, let's go ahead and just get a beta up again. Dangerously low on health there. Power shield ref deflected the attack. There's another alpha. And his shield became stronger. I need a smash right about now. All right, time to get another life up. Up. Ah, stop that! Not you, me. Well, I guess I am my worst nightmare. Whatever. Oh God, this is gonna hurt. That's three of them. And I kill myself twice. Oh my jeez! By the way, he has like 1600 HP. Yes! Goodbye, Power Shield. I'm okay with doing that to myself. This is gonna be a this is a battle of attrition, pretty much. Oh my god, Gaming Omega. <sighs> no, he's got the shield back up. Power shield deflected the attack, that's fine. Emitted a glorious light. There's the flash attack. And, uh, I guess it's not actually Flash. So. <sighs> Fucking health. Did not work on Ness. He missed with it. Yes, PSI 
uh, special, or in this case, gaming. It does have a chance of missing, though. Good, get rid of that shield. Tear into him, Ness. Oh my god, another Omega. That's like five, six. He should be running low on psychic points at this point. We'll just go for a life up alpha. Just to sustain health. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need to go first, or I'm dead. Shit. Thank god. Son of a bitch. Get rid of that shield. It's a shame all my smashes are being wasted on the shield, but at the same time, that's a good thing. And there's another alpha. He's just unrelenting. another alpha. Say, I wish I had some sort of psychic shield, but I don't. Oh, thank God that was getting close. <laughs> I didn't even level. What do you know? Ness heard a familiar voice at the center of the Sea of Eden. Gygus's goal is to destroy you. Listen carefully. Everything in the universe could be destroyed at the hands of Gygus. But he and his followers are also in trouble. The Apple of Enlightenment has foretold that Gygus' attempt will fail. It is because of the existence of a boy named Ness. That's me! Listen. Free your mind and know what you must do. Your destiny has already been decided. You, I... Where should we go? You know deep within the reaches of your mind. S Sat Saturn... Saturn Valley. Yes. Go to the valley where the Mr. Saturn live. You'll get something new there. Soon, Magic Ant will be no more. We must be quick. Ness really heard his own voice. Go to Saturn Valley. Go to Saturn Valley now. Ness was filled with the power of the giant step. Ness's speed increased by 5. Vitality increased by 5. Ness was filled with the power of the Lilliput steps. Guts increased by 5. Luck increased by 5. Ness is filled with the power of the Milky Well. Speed increased by 5. IQ increased by 5. Ness was filled with the power of the Magnet Hill. Vitality increased by 5. Luck increased by 5. Ness was filled with the power of the Rainy Circle. Guts increased by 5. IQ increased by 5. Ness was filled with the power of the pink cloud. Speed increased by 5. Guts increased by 5. Filled with the power of the looming hole. Luck increased by 5. IQ increased by 5. Filled with the power of the fire spring. Speed up by 5. Luck up by 5. Instantly, Ness's mind cleared, and he realized that he had possessed great power. At that moment, Ness's psychic powers radically expanded. Ness gained 200,000 experience points and is now level 76. Oh baby, offense up by 6, speed up by 1, guts up by 2, vitality up by 1, luck up by 1. Sweet, maximum HP went up by 157. That rocks. PP went up by 342. Ness's level is now 77. Defense went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 3. PP went up by 10. And finally, he realized he had the power of Teleport Beta. Yes. The power of the Soundstone and the 8 Your Sanctuary locations. Ness made all of the hidden powers his own. Ness absorbed the power of the land into his heart and Magicant was no more. Power of the Soundstone is now inside of Ness. Now you can wake up 
Your friends are waiting for you. It is time to get up. The soundstone that Ness used to have is now gone. What happened, Ness? You've been unconscious for a long time. You kept saying something. Saturn Valley? What's waiting for us there? Anyway, we need to teleport. And Ness flexes his new PSI teleport. Whee! Flinging everybody like a tornado. Whee! Hey. I'm not sure what will happen, but I sense big time trouble ahead of you. Or ahead for you. I'm going to stay here for a while and help Mr. Saturn. It's important for a man to enjoy doing his duty. Excellent, excellent. Everything proceeded as planned. Dr. Andonuts, Mr. Saturn, and I worked together and finally completed the phase distorter. The purpose of the device is to enable instantaneous travel through space and time. In this prototype, you can only travel to different points within the same time period. It is able, however, to search out the locations of enemies. Right now, it is indicating the presence of enemies in the Lost Underworld. <laughs> the Mr. Saturns are incredible folk. And the Apple Kid, he is a most exceptional young man. Very different from other kids. Well, anyway, the prototype phase distorter has been stolen. Someone resembling a pig wearing clothes took Mr. Saturn captive and stole the device. Oh my god, really? Let's test this baby out. Oh, what? what? Hmm. It doesn't seem to work. One thing is missing. But that one material cannot normally be found on the Earth. What? <sighs> of course! It's always that rare material that they find in outer space. You know, I mean, it, there's no way that it could, you know, have fallen from a meteorite or anything like that. You know. What? Yeah, I've seen a meteorite recently. Why? Eureka! That's it! With even just a piece of the meteorite, I can synthesize the material Zexonite. I doubt that your mortal enemy, Gygus, or whatever, will allow you to go to Onet and get a piece of the meteorite. By now, Onet is in his evil hands. You must go, though, so take every possible precaution. The Mr. Saturns have introduced some of their new developments at their shop. Please check them out before you leave. I wonder what Onet is like at this point in time. Oh, right, yeah. You can buy Earth Pendants here, I think. I still have one bag of Dragonites. And then two that are hiding, so... I still... I'm still on the Moonbeam gun. I seriously need to fix that. Yeah, look at his stats now. It's like, hello, I have top stats and everything. He's got the highest luck by far now. Excuse me. Alright, let's see what they have. Um... No. Oh, yeah, you can buy the three pendants here. Piggy Jelly? What is Piggy Jelly? Um, I'll have Ness buy some, because I don't know what the fuck it is. Piggy Jelly. It's one of Mr. Satter's favorite foods. Tastes alright. When eating, you recover about 300 HP. Well, 
I like this. Ness is 753 HP. That is so boss. Yeah, we have Piggy Jelly. I'm cool with that. As long as it ain't Piggy Jelly from, like, you know, Pokey or something. Alright, let's go ahead and rest up here. Do you want thumber? Gail! Working through the night to fix the broken antenna. After being fixed, the broken antenna became the Gaia Beam. I have never had that weapon before. And we are totally fucking equipping it. Oh, that feels good. That feels so wonderful. Now, there are two items left. Yeah, since I didn't get to try for the... Oh, God. The Star Pendant, which drops off the Major Psychic Psycho. Um, let's see. I'm gonna try and sell some things. But, yeah. That's one that I didn't get, is the... Star Pendant off the Major Psychic Psycho. Uh, sell Baddest Beam. Okay, can't sell Baddest Beam. Sell Moon Beam Gun. It's not much. Uh, let's see, what else can I sell? think that makes it officially everything. Alright, let's go to Onet and see what's going down. See what's shaking. I need some room. So. Alright. PSI, we're gonna make Ness cast teleport beta. We're gonna go back to Onet. City. It's crazy. What's going on? What? Wonder what these people say. Nothing. Wow. Nobody's saying nothing. What is going on here? Gygus. His minions are here. You engage the evil eye and its cohort, the Mechanical Octobot. The Mechanical Octobot has a 1 in a 128 chance drop, as well as another enemy that's nearby. For all intents and purposes, I'm actually going to go after the Mechanical Octobot first, for the simple fact that I want the uh, evil eye to have a chance to do something. And it's painful. Uh, we'll go ahead and do Gamma. Finally, somebody got diamondized. I have been wondering when that was going to happen this whole game. Okay, well that was some strange lag. We're gonna finish off the evil eye. I will not undiamondize Jeff this turn or this battle. I will, however, do that on the next. Uh, I will do it out of battle. Wow, that's that's some hardcore hitting. Good job, Paula. And that's what it looks like. What it looks like when a party member is diamondized, they don't move shit. All right, let's talk to mom. Oh my god, our lights are out. Let's call dad real quick. No, 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 no. no we'll we'll talk to mom first. Uh, oh, Ness, you finally showed up. 
plenty of creepy monsters running around Onet now. The townspeople are barricaded in their homes, afraid to go out. I'm fine, but I am a bit scared. Everything will be okay if we just sit here quietly in the dark. Are you hungry? Do you want to eat some cake? Absolutely, Mom! Are you more relaxed? Okay. And that doesn't cure his diamond eyes, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove it. Yay! Back to banana flavor! Actually, I think we'll end this episode here. I'm going to go up talk to Tracy, get some of those items out from Magicant, and... Yes, actually we will. We'll go ahead and restock the psychic points we used. Get some of those items out, and then I'm going to call Dad and save it. Yo, Tracy, what up? Come here. <laughs> I'll help you by keeping grand I support you wholeheartedly. Don't get yourself knocked off. I'll be strong while you're gone. Oh, it's my land now? Oops. Yeah, it is. I want to check out... Let's see. Earth Pendant? This is going to take a moment, I guess. Uh, Bag of Dragonite. I'm getting the bags of Dragonite out just in case of an emergency. I'll give one to Kai. Yes. And Magic Pudding. On Paula. Oh, we need to store the baddest beam. I am going to go ahead and store the holy fry pan as well. Magic pudding. Yes. And I'm going to grab... Is there anything else? I will grab one cup of life noodles. I'm going to give it to Jeff. Just in case of dire emergency. Alright, now... Earth Pendant, give... Jeff... Oh, oh, right, right, right. Hang on. Goddess Ribbon, or Goddess Band. I think it's only for... Hang on, goods. Must be equipped on your arm. It increases your defense. Helps keep you from being hypnotized. It also increases your luck. Actually, I think that is generic equipment. So for the moment, we're going to give this to... Goods. Equip. No. We're giving it to Jeff because he still has a diamond armlet thing. Nice. Alright. And since money is basically worthless at this point... Oh, shit. Oh, well. <laughs> ah, that was dumb of me. I feel like an idiot. I was thinking I was going into the drop menu. Wow, brain fart. That was bad. Uh, 
we'll just check out another one then. No. No, no. I can't believe I did that. Well, I haven't really been using them, so I guess it's okay. Alright, no. Diamond band, drop. Now, let's not make the same mistake again. Give. Right. Give to Jeff. And we will have some magic pudding given to Is there anything that Jeff has that I need to give away? Rain pendant. I can I can buy those, so I'll just drop it. All right, let's go talk to Dad and end the video because we're now over thirty minutes. All right, let me make sure everybody's stats are max first. We're going to record. Alright, I will see you all next time. I'm Ultima Mantoid, and this is Let's Play Earthbound. Till next time, take care, and have fun.